Hi, I've been asked quite a few times about exercise. I know some people can't exercise because of back problems or arthritis, um, various um, reasons why they can't exercise. Exercise wasn't a big part of my weight loss journey. It wasn't a part of my weight loss journey really at all. I purely focused on food. Um, I had very complex and um, complicated relationship with food and I felt that concentrating on that was more important than exercise to me. Um, trying to um, get on top of my demons really when it comes to food and the way I eat, the way I ate, um, the reasons that I was doing it and stuff. It was That was more important to me than concentrating on exercise. Um, I think if with me if I'd have done too much too soon it wouldn't have worked I needed to totally concentrate on my food issues and I think I've done pretty well I've lost over 250 pounds I started with Slimming World and I lost seven stone six and then I switched over to WW and I lost a further 10 odd stone with them so I've lost 18 stone 5 I think I'm up to at the moment or 18 stone 4 I have a little tiny bit more to lose but I am under goal so it's just purely weight that I want to lose for me I when I first started I did cut out all rubbish I I personally decided that the only way that was going to help me was to totally abstain so that's what I did I abstained from cakes crisps biscuits chocolate everything that I saw as my trigger foods basically so I did abstain from all of them I cleared out all of the cupboards I must say I ate most of it so but um, I that's what I did and that's what I had to do I did that for eight months before switching to WW and when I switched to WW I started to introduce those foods back in um, and I can point them and I can have them and I can enjoy them and that's the good thing about WW for me I can literally have whatever I want and still feel in control because ultimately it's me feeling in control that that's sort of conquered my food issues basically I need to feel like I'm in control and that food's not in control of me and previously food has always been in control of me I said I didn't exercise and I really didn't but basically when I started to lose weight I started to walk a little bit more I'd park my car a little bit further away not necessarily on purpose to start off with it was sort of like I, c I can walk a little bit further I can breathe better I can I can work walk more than 100 meters without having to rest and have a break um, and then obviously as I lost more weight I started to go out a little bit more I was literally probably you could count me as a recluse before I didn't really go out apart from to go to work I'd occasionally go to the cinema and occasionally out for a meal but the least people saw of me the better as far as I was concerned I didn't like going out at all um, but as I lost the weight I started to increase the amount of time that I would go out and therefore my walking increased because of that my partner did give me uh, get me an Apple watch when I'd lost um, I think it's about 13 14 stone no sorry when I lost 10 stone he bought me my Apple watch um, and it didn't get it, it, it increased my steps a small amount but not hugely um, I'd, I would go oh I've, I've completed um, my exercise rings for today oh that's brilliant I've done my stand goal that was how it sort of at the beginning when I first got it it was that was the the main thing that it did and when I went out I could go oh, today I've walked 10,000 steps didn't actually go out and go right I'm going to do 10,000 steps a day I don't even do 10,000 steps now because the step thing doesn't bother me as long as I get 30 minutes of exercise in whether that be a walk or a swim that's literally all I care about um, when I got to goal I got to goal in April 2018 the week I got to goal I've been saying for a little while oh I'll join the gym I'll join the gym and I never did when I got to goal it was sort of like right I've got to goal what am I going to do now 
then I just thought, you know what, I'll just join a gym. That's when I joined a gym. Initially, I started to go um, and use the equipment. My gym doesn't have classes, it has equipment and a pool. So I started to use the equipment initially. Um, going in the swimming pool was still a big thing for me. I do have a lot of excess skin. However, I do have a costume that covers that up. So that's fine. Um, but then I hurt my knee and I couldn't actually go to the gym. And I thought, well, I'll go swimming instead. I need to get my half an hour's exercise in. That, at that point, that was when it kicked in that I needed to get my half an hour's exercise. I needed to do my 12 hours standing because there's three goals with the Apple Watch a day. There's a 12 hour stand goal. So you stand up for a minute every hour for 12 hours. There is the exercise ring. So you exercise for 30 minutes. I can do that with a walk. Um, not even a hugely brisk walk, just a quite a, a walk to the shops. I can do a 30 minute exercise. And um, there's the move goal, which you can set yourself. And I set mine so that I can still hit it even if I have a day where I don't go for a swim. So mine's at, um, I burn 360 calories a day. I normally double that when I go for a swim in fact sometimes when I go for a walk I can double that but that the three goals with the Apple watch and that's when I started to um, swim I now swim sort of daily um, most days I do swim daily I like it it gives me half an hour's exercise just makes me feel better I just get up and out of the house um, which is great before I would spend a whole weekend in the house and not not leave if I had a week's annual leave I'd spend a whole week in the house that's how bad I was I would just order my shopping online and just stay in the house um, so now I literally go out every day so when it comes to exercise it's, it is really it's all about what you feel comfortable with I personally I won't go to the gym anymore I won't go and use the equipment I find I burn more calories um, in half an hour swim than I do at half an hour in the gym um, it's my own personal preference and I know it's basically it's all about finding an activity and an exercise that you enjoy and that you can do and that you f it gives you that sense of accomplishment and I do like a swim every day so you, like I said I didn't join the gym till I got to goal I lost all of my weight and I got to goal without joining a gym without exercising daily um, would it have helped I don't know if it would or not when I joined the gym I initially had quite big gains because I was using the equipment and um, with water weight um, with using my muscles that I hadn't used before I did have an initial quite a substantial gain when I joined the gym so if I'd have had that on my journey I don't know if that would have knocked me on, off course certain things can um, but yeah so when it comes to exercise and your weight loss it's finding something that you enjoy if you can't exercise it it doesn't really make much of a difference it didn't to me it I, I know everybody's different and it's um, an individual thing but I, I really didn't it didn't even occur to me I didn't even want to do it any physical activity to me was just a nightmare and would just set me off uh, um, and make me anxious if I had to walk to the shops if my car broke I'd be absolutely devastated because I didn't know what I'd do it was that bad that I'd had that, that the thought of having to walk far was was really quite um bad on my, my um, anxiety and my nerves it would just it, uh, it was awful now it doesn't even bother me I have no problem I can even get the bus I wouldn't have even got the bus before wouldn't have got the train it really doesn't bother me anymore so obviously as you lose the weight your activity increases you feel like you want to do more and that's the push that you need so yeah when it comes to activity and exercise it's whatever you feel comfortable with Thank you for listening. Goodbye.